Australia, but the world as well. Currently being played is the International Cup over this fortnight. 18 men's team and sevens, seven women's teams are competing for it. And we have representatives from Ireland, Murish Bartley, welcome. Thank you very much. And from the Canadian women's side, Amy Legault. Amy, great to have you here. Thanks for having me. All right, well, the obvious question to start is, Amy, how have you found your way to Australian football? I first started playing the game in 2009, and... Uh, it actually came from my sister's boyfriend, who was Irish, and he travelled over to Canada, and uh, he wanted to find a sport that was similar to Gaelic football, and he got us involved. <laughs> so how did you find kindred spirits? How many are there who play Aussie rules? In Montreal? Yeah. Um, we're about uh, 200 members. Okay. And did you like it from the start? Oh, the first time I laid my hands on a leather ball, I fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> Marish, what about your story? Um, for me, the uh, the last captain for the last International Cup, Keane Quigley, was my teacher at school. So he did a couple of ses sessions for PE, and like that, um, I just got hooked up on it. I got bitten by the ball game. Shedder was fascinated, quiz and quizzed him, is there any underage team that around that I can play for? Um, like that, he said there wasn't, but I was as big and as physical as the rest of them. So he said to come along and play a few sessions, and I did, and that's it all started from there. Were you a Gaelic footballer prior to that? I was a Gaelic footballer, yeah, and I played rugby as well. So I kind of had both codes with the tackling and the catching uh, for the rugby and the catching and the kicking for the Gaelic football. So how do you make deal with the fact that you've left two of their most popular games, the Gaelic football and Irish rugby, is very big as well, and you've just turned your back on those to go to AFL? How'd they cope with that? Um, like that, they were a bit disappointed, but they were happy for me because they know for me it was the best decision. Because yeah. I used to watch on television back home, we saw us be talking about it, that we'd love to have been there and love to have been playing it. And once the opportunity arose, we were, they were more than happy for me to, uh, to go and make it. And we've got some unfortunate news, Jerry. Mm -hmm. He does barrack for a team. Mm -hmm. It's the wrong team. Right. Would you like to tell us who it is? Uh, it's West Coast Eagles. <laughs> now, you've played your first game, Mirish. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't go that well personally. No, not for myself, unfortunately, no. What no. happened in the opening minutes? And uh, the first five minutes, I, uh, I copped his shoulder off the ball and kind of knocked me unconscious. So I got, oh. a, got a nice shiner <laughs> and a uh, bit of concussion to deal with. So... That's, that's, that's my story, my first game of uh, International Cup football. <laughs> Amy, how did your first game go? Uh, we played the USA Freedom, and um, after hard work, uh, we came out with a win. <laughs> You're understating that. You thrashed them. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. It was a really hard game, contested footy. 61 to 7 sounds like a thrashing in, uh, in our language, doesn't it? What was, what's the standard like? Obviously, the Canadian team is, is strong. Uh, yes, our girls have been training uh, four to five times a week across the country. We don't actually have the chance to train together, only about once or twice a year. And uh, the skill level is phenomenal. Um, you won't see a girl that not walking around with a footy in their hand. Amy, hey, I don't know if you've spent much time out here, but have you been to any games? Have you had the opportunity to see some games? Uh, yeah, we actually uh, saw the Hawthorne <coughs> versus Melbourne game uh, after the Parade of Nations. Nice. And we saw the Tigers... Um, yes, come out with a big win versus Essendon, yes. What did you yeah. think of watching it at the top level? Uh, it was it was incredible. I'm not sure how those players deal with the pressure of having so many fans in the stands. Mm. It's a pretty amazing to be here with a team playing in a, in a formalised competition in Australia. Uh, well, this is actually the second International Cup yep. um, that our girls have come down for. And um, it is unbelievable to see the level of football that is being played across the globe. Maurice, I suspect that um, the Irish would have to be one of the favourites for the event, wouldn't they? Um, it's a bit early to call who would be the favourites at the moment. Um, I mean, it's all up in the air after the first game. Um, like that, we were the winners of the last International Cup, but that's all in the past now, so this year is a different year. Um, so you, you, you don't know who's, who could win. So it's said, anyone's game. said everything except taking it one week at a time. I've learned to speak very quickly, Jared. So. Who are you playing tomorrow? Tomorrow we're playing France, tomorrow afternoon. Um, so hopefully that will go well for us. Um, the French are a very formidable outfit, so please God, it'll, it'll all work out for us. Uh, and Amy, high expectations for the Canadian team is there? Yes, tomorrow we'll be playing uh, USA Liberty, so hopefully going out with a bang. Yes, yeah, and for the overall competition, are you expecting to be right there to win it? Our team dream is to make it to the final, yes, to play at Punt Road. Excellent. Well, good luck with it. Thanks for coming by.
Thank you very much for having us. Aussie Rules, Amy Legault and Tamura Spartley. Cheers. Good luck with your endeavours in the International Cup, which continues on over the next couple of weeks in Australia. Tomorrow night, King and McCormick.